What's up guys, so a new update for Valheim just came out last night and uh, basically nerfed farming. I don't think they nerfed farming on purpose, but effectively uh, that is what the update did. Um, I think they did it for hammers and other tools, but um, yeah, farming sucks now. Almost didn't want to make this video because I'm pretty sure within the next week or two weeks or probably on the next patch you're going to see them... I'll revert the cultivator and fix fix the planting again. Today I'll be showing you guys exactly how to revert your planting back to original by installing this mod. The mod was created by Mentis15 just a few hours ago. Um, so yeah, same day the update came out, a mod came out to fix the update because it's just it's just painful to deal with. So Mentis15, thank you sir. For that, you're going to need to install some other mods. If you guys are new to modding uh, for Valheim, or modding in general, you're going to need this program right here called Vortex. And Vortex is on Nexus Mods, so you can go ahead right here and download the latest version now. And it's free. Go ahead and install that, and once you have it installed, you can carry on to the next step. Alright, so once you've got Vortex set up, next thing you want to do is download this right here, which is SK Toolbox. Now, we don't really need SK Toolbox, we, we just want the Bepinex pack, which comes actually pre-installed right here, Bepinex preloaded. Um, if you don't want to do this, you could just get the Bepinex pack by itself, click manual download, and install it into your Steam location, into your uh, Valheim folder there. Pretty easy way to do it, but personally I like SK Toolbox because it's also useful for other things, and it comes preloaded so you can just use this. Click Mod Manager Download and go ahead and install that through Vortex. And by the way, installing through Vortex is very simple. Once you click something, I'll just show you how it looks. You click and click Slow Download. And then click Open Vortex. And once you click Open Vortex, that's going to pop into your downloads. Right? I've got a bunch here that I've downloaded extras off by accident. Um, so you go ahead and click that, and it'll pop into your downloads. It'll install. And if it doesn't install, you can just click it, like Install manually. Um, then come into here into mods and you'll see it here either it'll say disabled or it'll say never enabled and then you click the arrow and click enabled and just like that you have the mod installed so the next thing you're going to need is the unstripped DLLs so the unstripped DLLs basically they're files that the mods can revert to um, or reference from sorry and these are the, the files that the mods are going to change um, so that they never affect your original install so for example, if you install a mod, it causes issues, causes your whole game to bug out. You can remove the mod and remove you know, anything associated with the mod, and your original game files would never have been uh, altered. So very good to have this. Go ahead and click Files, click Mod Manager Download, and install that one as well. Finally, no tool delay. So this was literally made a few hours ago. Um, like I said, the update came out today. I don't think they're going to keep this update. I think this is going to be reverted because it's just it's just annoying for no reason, you know. And um, yeah, I have 300 hours in Valheim. At least two or three of those hours are just planting crops. So I'm already used to how the speed was and I just I just want it back. So until then, until they revert it back to normal, I'm going to be using this mod and I know it's already got like 300 downloads, so let's go ahead and click Mod Manager Download, install that, and go ahead and enable that. So once you've got that enabled, Unstripped Managed, installed and enabled, SK Toolbox, installed and enabled, you're good to go. Once you've got those all installed, we're going to pop back into Valheim. And as you can see, we're back to exactly how it was originally. And we can plant as fast as we want. Um, like I said, guys, I'm pretty sure they're going to revert it uh, back to how it was. So as soon as they do that, you can remove this mod. But personally, I've got like 300 hours in Valheim. And like, you know, probably like two or three of those hours are just planting alone. So I, I'm pretty used to the speed of planting and how it used to be. And I just, I just have to have it back how it was. So... I'm going to be using this until they fix it, and uh, yeah. 
I hope that video helped some of you guys out. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more Valheim. See you guys next time. Bye.